there's something that's been bringing a lot of damage to artists' careers, and it's still doing it, and you got to make sure you don't get caught up doing this because I knew it was happening, but I didn't know it was happening as much as it is, and man, the level of damage that is about to do is crazy because it's only getting worse, and that's Drug Dealer Playlist. Now, what do I mean by Drug Dealer Playlist? Everybody's probably familiar. If you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with Playlist, right? But what do drug dealers do? All right, if you know anything about street culture, drug dealers, they give a little sample out, all right? And once they give you that little sample, you get hooked. Once you're hooked, now you're coming back for more and they're charging you the premium, right? And that's how they build out their business, samples. Now, why is that related to Playlist? You might not have experienced this, but a while ago, it's been a minute, I remember the first artist told me, they were just like, I saw my streams go up out of nowhere. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. I thought I was catching like an organic space in an algorithm. And then I got hit up by somebody in my DMs and they were like, yo, you like that, don't you? And they were like, what are you talking about? And I'm that was such that's just, that story sounded crazy to me. <laughs> but anyway, they he was like, yo, that was me. Do you like those streams? I can give you more. Right. Just pay me. Put you on some playlist. Da, 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 da. Right. And this guy did it. And I was like, what are you doing, bro? That makes no sense. Why would you hop on this daggone playlist? That's that this dude just came out of nowhere, gave you a pump. And now you're buying into the program makes no sense. And I thought that was like a one off situation. Then I heard it again. Cool. But I still didn't hear it as like a, a frequently from most of the people that, you know, I work with. Why? Probably because we keep everybody highly educated in this mix. But some recent conversations, I found out that many people have actually been plagued with this issue. They're making a lot of money, these people who are actually doing and running this strategy. And when you add on top of this, this is where it could bring damage. And I, I'm sorry to say, I don't know if you can do anything about it because we're in the day and age where Spotify is cracking down extra on playlist we've talked about this before and then the distributors are like yo okay we don't want to have to pay the money so um you know artists you're gonna have to pay up as a matter of fact we're just gonna get you off the platform we're gonna disassociate ourselves so we can stay in good standing with the dsp right see dsp we we aren't on their side but here's the thing how do you stop it when somebody comes to you and they put streams on your profile they come and put you in a playlist against your will and then try to sell you something, but then Spotify, DistroKid, or whoever swoops in and says, yo, you have straight fake streams on your profile. Get out of here, right? They call you out, do real damage to your profile, suspend your profile when you literally had nothing to do with it. And how are they supposed to just guess, right? Honestly, like there's no way, I think this, this the complexity of this, this uh, botting and these businesses, is actually a lot more than most people understand when they wonder like, well, how come Spotify doesn't figure it all out? How come um, DistroKid or all these companies figure it all out? Well, something like that, that's just not, is it bots or not? Well, hey, I can see there's bots, but how, how am I supposed to believe, right? Random small artists in, in the middle of nowhere that you didn't put that song on that playlist on purpose, right? Oh, somebody just came in and gave you some free streams. Why would somebody do that? Can you can you see why that doesn't add up or it's hard to believe that? Right. It's just easier for me to close up on my side and say, nah, I'm just going to wipe all of y'all off. Now, that's an issue. We know that's that's an issue, but it's something to one, look out for, pay attention to. If you ever see something like that, please, please do not participate. Don't fall for the trap and then pay for the drug. Right. That's that's crazy. And then two, also. Like the best thing you can do is try to alert a distributor or somebody like that. In that case, if you see something like that happening, because I end up having somebody say, yo, man, I don't know what to do. This guy reached out and he tried to pump up my, my streams and I didn't want him to. I said no. And I told him to take it off. And he said he couldn't take it off. And now he was stuck. Right. So we're in this weird space where we don't just have. <sighs> the danger of some of the decision making that the DSPs are making, but we have a legitimate danger on these people who are making good money by tricking enough people and still damaging 
right? People who aren't being tricked. I hadn't seen this before. Before, it's usually, you know, I present you with the trick box. And then if you fall into the trick box, cool. And if you don't, oh, look, you, you just dodged, you know, a bullet. Nah, man, you're not dodging a bullet. People are getting shot <laughs> like up front and you really have no choice. It's just whether you survive or not. All right. So it's an interesting space. But the other side of this, the other side of this has to be the accountability of the artists themselves. Right. You yourself. And this is something we promote on our channel. Most people don't promote thinking, to be honest. Right. Most people say, hey, this is what you should do. You should be indie. You should be on a label. You should go direct. You should stream or you shouldn't go direct or you shouldn't stream or you shouldn't be indie or you shouldn't be on a label. All right. People just tell you this is exactly the only way to go versus giving you a way to analyze the whole process. And the reason that most artists get tricked over and over again or people get tricked over and over again because they have trouble analyzing the actual business and the model and what works strategy wise and not. In a given case, situationally, from one to the next. And since they have trouble doing that, they just fall for the next type of propaganda that gets pushed down the rabbit hole. It becomes the next trend and everybody's doing it. Everybody says this is the way and you're just going to fall for everything else that goes down that way. Right. That's what's happening to most people versus understanding that every single situation. Like there's a lot of online courses that are scams. Right. But I've had some of the biggest benefits in my life from some online courses or consulting that we used in our own business, like actually paying people and the things that they've taught us have been impactful for years on, right? But we had plenty of opportunities to buy things that wouldn't have benefit us. So how do you decipher? That's something that, look, most people aren't, aren't even interested in figuring that out in this space. Most people just want to hear, how do I grow? How do I get more streams? Or how do I make more money off of music? That's what most people want to hear. So I only kind of drop the nuggets here and there in videos. And those are usually when you see the artist say, oh, he's, he's a, I don't know, like an industry you're playing or something. Cause he's asking people to think for themselves. But the important thing is uh, if you can be accountable to yourself and realize all these strategies work, right? Ads, content, all right. Streaming. There's great money to be made in streaming for some artists and done in the right way. There's um, what else? Uh, direct to consumer. There's money to be made just selling direct for some types of artists and uh, a group can work for some type of artists. Right. All of these things have benefit. And there's I could go on and on and on in terms of strategies. But all of these things don't work for everybody or don't work for everybody based on where they are at the moment. And that's the part. That causes you to have to think for yourself situationally versus dating one person and then saying, oh, ain't no good people out here, right? Because you are bad at picking. That's your fault, right? So that's what we have to get better at because we have new trends coming, right? Everybody's saying, oh, direct to the consumer, direct to consumer. Look, that's been out there already, right? Bandcamp has existed for years. The platforms to do like all of these things have existed for years. We have artists that are making hundreds of thousands every single year off of Shopify selling merch, right? None of this stuff is new, right? If you have fans, right, and you make sure you do that first, they're going to go to where you need them to go, right? So don't fall for the idea that's being pushed. And just because everybody's riding a certain wave, think that it's time for you to hop on a wave. You might not be ready for the wave. And then you're going to call the wave a bad thing, right? Even though, no, the wave is good. You just weren't ready for it, right? Or you might try a strategy or a platform that might not suit you. And that's cool, but it might suit somebody else, right? But you have to be able to analyze these things from a situational basis. And that's where the accountability lies. And that's my biggest point of this video here. Yes, this situation with the playlisting and the um, scams, yo, that's that's crazy. But playlist work, right? In Use in the right way for the right reason. Not looking to think, oh, I'm going to break my entire career if I just get on one playlist, right? Rap Caviar had its moment in time, but that is not the the, the norm. And that area, era is even done for Rap Caviar, okay? Right? But there's real utility to even playlists done correctly. 
But when you do these things wrong, then you should expect a bad result. Or if you don't understand how to analyze the situation, then you should expect a result that comes along with not understanding how to implement something. That is all. You 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 pick the wrong partner. That doesn't mean that marriage is bad. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? That's all. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can hear this and rethink just how you're looking at these situations, analyzing the strategies, the platforms, these trends. Again, there's a lot of trends. You hear everybody talking about these things at once, right? In indie, that means when you hear things being marketed heavily, heavily, heavily at once, it's no different than when crypto got pushed out there to everybody in the world. You end up with a lot of people who they get knocked out or knocked off. Why? Because everybody's just chasing the wave. They're drunk off of the idea. All right. Why is the idea sounding so popular? I don't know. Right. Like, but doesn't matter. We don't have to go that deep. All we have to do is analyze. Does this work for me? Does this work for me where I am right now? Maybe I will implement it later. And if I decide to implement this, which is the best way to do it? Does this platform work for me? All right. Does this person that I'm trying to hire make sense for me? All right. Does it look like they run their business legitimately? All right. And maybe I did make a mistake, but I need to be able to hop out of that mistake as soon as possible. Right. Test all of this stuff. But the principles don't change. The idea is to make great music. When you make great music, the idea is to then get it seen by as many people as possible. And out of those groups of people who see it, the next idea is to turn people into real fans, right? And after you turn people into real fans, the next idea becomes engaging these people and monetizing these people and mobilizing these people, right? That's the way you do it, right? You can skip to trying to monetize and mobilize, but when you don't have anything to monetize and mobilize, what are we really doing here? Don't forget about the basics. The path still exists. Don't fall for the new hype and forget where the hell you are right now. Like that artist is already down the road. Let them do what they're doing. They're selling you an idea, right? But what did they do when they were where you are, right? And is the thing that they did something that's going to make sense for you? Are you the same personality? Do you look like this woman? Do you look like this guy? Do y'all have the same audience? Is your niche even as big? Ask yourself those actual questions. Do you have the same talents? Do you have talents that they don't, that you can implement? Ask yourself these questions, and that'll help get you down that path. Again, my whole thesis is not to give you one specific thing that will work, because I'm talking to a general crowd out here, right? This is a, a video, right? Not a phone conversation. So it's not to say, this is the only thing you should do what these videos are, right? What this channel hopefully is and inspires is to give you multiple different ways of seeing situations. So instead of looking at one situation in shoe 1D, <laughs> we're talking about 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, as you get more and more ways of looking at a single problem so you can make a better decision. That's it. Hopefully this video is helpful. Subscribe to The Vibe. This is yet another Saturday video. And look, if y'all want to uh, hop in, no labels necessary. We got our free community where we, you know, we have conversations every once in a while. That's no labels necessary dot com. Other than that, watch the next video. If this is your first Saturday video, by the way, we got a playlist of it now. Check those out, too. Peace.